Hello there. Today we are going to be doing this fish eye effect in cavalry. by Hulk 79. So I had the idea of creating this tutorial after watching the case study for this project by Kurpa Hosk and I find this effect super expressive and interesting. So let's go there and start from scratch. I have two text layers here, they are set on inter, uh, a sans serif very nice variable font and I'm going to turn these layers into 2.5 or 3D layers. The controls are here so I need to activate them just by clicking and creating these little cubes, very cute ones. Uh, and then the other thing that we need is we need to create a camera like so and if we go to the camera controls the only thing that we need to be dealing with at the beginning is with the zoom uh, and as opposed to after effects where we have a lens and a zoom here the way we have more of a tele lens or a wide angle lens is by changing this zoom parameter so if we lower this down a lot we are going to have a wider angle so something around 200 should be very nice and then I need to get closer with the set parameter so that's the distance to the camera that looks cool to me so let's start doing the animation I'm going to go to the beginning of the timeline and if I click twice on this text layer you see that in the rotation I have three parameters because this is a 2.5 layer so we need to play with the y parameter okay only with the y parameter so in the beginning it's going to be at zero and let's say in frame 60 it is going to be at 360 okay so if we play it by hitting the spacebar you can see how cool that is because of the extreme wide angle or fisheye that we have on the camera so I'm going to, go to do exactly the same for Fizz, the same kind of animation, but in the opposite way. So in the beginning it is going to be at zero in the Y rotation parameter, and in frame 60 it is going to be at minus 360. So if we hit the spacebar, you see that we are already done. So with this technique, like applying a camera and turning your layers into 2.5, you can achieve endless results and please play with it because I think that this is a really, really good starting point for a lot of experiment experimentation. And yeah, that's that. Uh, I hope you liked this tutorial. Please remember that I have this Buy Me A Coffee, coffee web page where you can contribute. Thanks for watching this and see you in the next one. Series by Hulk 79.